Let's see it. This is the card he doesn't want to see. Alright, we need to make our call right now. Ezrim, Agency Chief, an Archon Detective on the on the job. Hello everyone, it's Love here and today we are going big brain mode with the Stone Brain card that absolutely destroys win cons for a lot of decks and there's nothing they can do about it. They cannot kill you anymore because they don't have how. And I made sure you will see it in action. Today games were absolutely hilar. Like I'll tell you man, you will have so much fun and you will probably learn a lot because I did. So yeah, if you appreciate that we're trying something fresh and standard, trying to keep it interesting and you know, entertain Entertaining. Uh, subscribing is a cool thing to do. It's a good deed for the day. So yeah, smash it or gently tap it to not destroy your mouse as I had some voices that, you know, uh, the mouses were destroyed, but it's fine. It's for a good cause. All right, guys, enough rambling. Enjoy the action with cool Azorius control. Right, man, what's up with the two landers today? Uh, however, we are on the play with the archive, so I feel a little bit more confident. I would love to hit an anti plant. Oh my god, it's my birthday. All right, let's see it. Are you an all right? Okay, guys, this is a true test. I, I need to win this. I want to win this. I will win this unless I want. All right, let's play a land. A land is all I need. So we need to get to four and then hit the stone brain. Oh, what are you? Are you what I think you are? Yes, you are what you, what I think you are. Oh my, man, this is my birthday. It's a tap land, so it's not fully perfect, but I'll absolutely take it. Oh my god, yes, yes. <laughs> Guys, I curve out to, to fifth land. Oh my god, with the lands I needed. Like, it's it's happened so rarely. I, <laughs> I shouldn't be so excited about hitting my curve. <laughs> All right, but I am. Here's your happy honk of curving out. So you can curve out every single game, but of course you need to like video for it. All right, so uh, let's see what we are doing this game. Uh, we are just fishing for the stone brain, and our opponent doesn't realize that the doom is there. I really hope they play a normal version, not some you know counter spell shenanigans, because I really want my memory dirge to hit. Do you want to play something? That's really mean. You are such a mean person. I can relate. All right. Um, man, no more lies is so much better than make this appear, as you can see. And yeah, that's unfortunate because it still costs us the... I'm uncurving out, guys. Oh my God. The, you cannot imagine my happiness right now. All right, now I need to hit the stone brain and make my opponent scoop. That was the idea. Nissa. A little Nissa. All right, you have her, but it's only one mana. So he might go for memory dirge, but he needs to play it now. Let's see if that's a blue mana. All right, that's a green mana. Cool. Cool. So two ways to play this. Either I kill Nissa with March, which honestly seems like a better idea. Way better idea. Way better idea. It's less mana efficient, right? Uh, on the next turn, if I draw a land, I can use March and the counter spell. March and the counter spell. Listen, I really want to play my stuff, you know? Here it is. Oh my god. Oh man, it's all those good cards. Can I have them all, please? I kinda played into Otawara and I have memory dish in my graveyard, so I think the responsible choice is this. I could exile March, but I don't think it's the best idea. Otawara. I have enough counter spells that I can really try to mess him up, you know? Let's go. One counter spell to rule them all. He has very low uh, blue mana, so that's that's comforting because we all know the best, you know, color is blue. Unless you want to actually, you know, play the game. <laughs> See, I can roast the control deck as well. All right. Do you enjoy this moment as much as I do? <laughs> uh, 
I love it. I love it so much. I'm not sure, maybe he plays different version that has more win cons, right? Because right now I don't see a single mountain. I'm still going for it. Like, we know what you play, and I've seen that this is the main version. World. Souls. Rage. Hi. No way. <laughs> He's not playing this version. Uh, very often you don't take the red mana uh, until late in the game. So how is... what? Okay, what's going on? So how do you win? So Shigeki, Cosmic Rebirth. Okay, Revival. So Shigeki is how he goes infinite. And I guess Doppelganger or something, right? That's probably his play. All right, I, this is the this is the cool part of the deck. I actually need to learn to play it. <laughs> Imagine this in Magic. All right, I really thought that he's just waiting with the red mana. All right, cheers. Learn something today. I'm playing against something extremely different than I expected. <laughs> All right, so we can still hit Shigeki and break his loop. All right, sure. He doesn't really have... Alright, so we will try to win differently then. I'm not sure how yet, but we will. It's, it's a little bit awkward situation. Just a little bit. <laughs> but it's a payout for our opponent for playing a different version of the deck. But honestly, I've never seen a different version so far. Everyone always plays the same one. So a little bit unlucky on our part. However... I think it should be Shigeki, right? Now they might counter it. So I think we, we chill a little bit here. Because we need to get those uh, no more lies out of there. Uh, right now if I pay two, he will definitely double spell. And you know, just get rid of it for us. I didn't pay it as much attention as I should to the deck. But you know, it's fine. It's fine. So if I paid this, he has better counter spell. If I paid this, he needs to use two of them, but it's still not bad for him. However, I have uh, four memory the rush in the deck. Here it is, and here's the Mirex. All right, and this is the cool thing about the deck. You have different ways to win the game. But man, I kind of fizzled on this one. <laughs> but I think it, th that's a fair shot, you know? Like, you kind of expect War Souls Rage. Because that was 100% of the versions I've seen so far. Uh, but when you play Stonebrain, I guess you get the new stuff. Alright. Let's start the countdown. Uh, I mean, I could play it, but it's really good for him. I, I have enough cards. Like, I have kind of everything right now. Three. So we have... We can have five mana. Five mana is kind of important here. I really want as much mana as possible right now. And soon, like, he has lockdown, so he has one reset. And I'm not sure if we want to fight for it. Here's the analyst. Okay. Go for it. Go for it, my champion. And you just lost your Ren, which is one of the big win cons. So, decent for us. What would happen if someone forced you to use it first? So you don't get the full value. Ah. Yep. And this is still here with the effect on the stack. So we just negated one extra land. That's that's cool. Alright. So he has quite a lot of mana. But we have all the Mirexes and hard counter spells. I should probably stone brain something. But right now I'm not super scared. I might be for Shigeki. So we will see. I'm not sure how to play it exactly to be absolutely honest with you guys. He has all the basics. We don't want to go for the Anchorage and we definitely want to win with the Mites because uh, he's at 29. So basically if we attack with those, he, he is at 10. So we deal like 19 damage. Just, you know, by by having a different win con. Danik. Thank you, Danik, for participating in this game. Alright. 
All right, all right. We need to win this one. It started nicely. It had a bump, <laughs> but the bump was entirely because of me. If I play this, he will love to lock down it. I don't think we need to do anything else, like we are winning. I'm also considering to counter this. Like that will accelerate the, the pain so much more. And we need to decide, I don't have a white marches anymore. So do I just negate this? I think it's a fair play. He has a lot of value in this deck. Like he, this is the deck that goes infinite. So normally I don't play like this, but I think we can risk it. Especially that we have my murder, so we can always, you know, a little bit backtrack to having the value game if we really want to. And let's keep going. Dissipate mana, important. Hmm. So he will get it. He will get it. If we dissipate, we give him a nice counter spell. I think we have to allow it. Uh, this is possible. So I can go either Memory Delush with the Stone Brain. He still got the value. So I honestly think we this is Shigeki. Shigeki is how he breaks everything. Invasion of Archavius is also pretty huge. Like those are his two win cons. You can see that I'm not super sure how to play it out. This is a good card. Those are good counter spells. And we are nearing the stage of the game where he needs to respond. Like he's dead on the next turn, theoretically. And like a classic control mage, I say go. I need a lot of mana. I have six spare mana only. That we need seven. Oh, that's annoying. That's really good for him. I think we cannot battle those. Like, we need to allow it. It is what it is. It gives him more time, but it also saves us a counter spell. And we have a lot of mana based counter spells. Right now, he's not like going crazy mode because he only amplified his mana base once. Man, so many things I want to get rid of this game. Alright. So he will play it. I think this is a counter spell just because it gives him a lot of small value. I'm kinda messy in this game. But it's it's hard to align what we what we want to do. I this is what I like about Stone Brain. It gives you so many ways to play the matchup and over time you learn which one is the best. I think this one is okay. Like, this is not something we super care about. Do we give up on this and try to play a control game for a moment? I mean, possibly, possibly. He has what? Only 6 mana. That's not enough. Yeah, I think we go with Memory Lurge here. And this is the fun part. We can switch strategies a little bit. Alright, Get Lost. Get Lost would, was nicer earlier. Uh, Ezrim is a great card overall, but not really for the situation. I will definitely take Get Lost. Do I... So I think I use Get Lost on this, because it's mana efficient. I could go for Planes, but let's go for Ezrim. It is possible that we pressure, but... Hmm. And we probably want to end up here. Just because he has those two counter spells. And yes, we could get rid of them, but then we don't get rid of anything else. And he gets he draws the cards, right? Yep. So he will get new cards, and actually I prefer him to have this. I think we just try to win uh, with a control game with him. Let's see it. This is the card he doesn't want to see. Definitely for Field of Ruin. Alright, we need to make our call right now. So this is Aether or Shigeki or a Memory Delush. We know that he has Memory Delush right now, so it's more immediate value. Shigeki is long-term stuff. Like super long-term stuff. 
I will try to... He has only one Shigeki in the whole deck. Sunfall. He doesn't have Shigeki. Then that means he needs to top deck. And that will be way harder. And this should give us enough time to, you know, close the game. So it's like Shigeki. Cosmic Rebirth to keep the loop going, and Revival to keep the loop going, and uh, Invasion of Arcavias. Those are the ways he wins the game. And thanks to this play, he doesn't draw any new cards, which is super important. Alright. He doesn't even have lands or anything to use the mana on. I think we just go Mirex at then step. I'm fine if he if he uses the mana from Nissa, that's fine, he doesn't have way to use it right now. Yep, this is just a random card, and usually it should be a dead draw most of the time. And here we go again with our strategy. Uh, we keep the get lost, we need open mana for a lot of our plays. And Field of Ruin needs to be tapped all the time, we might need a lot of cold mana. Alright, that's serious. And the pressure continues. Unfortunately, Danik and Ezrim aren't very good for this situation when he life gains so much and he's at 7 poison already. Like, it is obvious which strategy will get him faster. And we are waiting with all the normal lives. We don't have hard counter spurs. That's scary. That is scary. I need him to not draw Shigeki super quickly. A 1-1, one -one, sure. That's, that's smart, but he doesn't know about the Emperor. And I think we can get him there. Oh, he's using the mana. Oh boy, you don't want to use the mana, my friend. Unless you have some place that I don't know of. I guess he really wants to get this map token. Alright, sure. Demolition. Well, that's a draw. Okay, well... If you draw Demolition Field from the top, then I guess it's a good play. I'll tell you, man. That was a really good one. So we can either go for a Mirex now. Yeah, let's go for a Mirex. Alright, let's go. We can still get some value out of this. I will absolutely take a card. And this is a pretty interesting game so far. Let's take the blue mana. We have a lot of memory in the rush, so two of them is already four blue mana. And you need symmetrical for those, so it's more skewed toward blue always. Alright, alright, we are fighting. We have Emperor, so we can actually trade here very nicely, but we probably want to draw more Mirex. Alright. A Sunfall. Let's see if he wants to take it he wants. Interesting. Do I just play? No, no. Emperor is super important for the next turn. That's an interesting play. But I think Emperor is still better. Because we need to get some mileage of this, of this might. Uh, he should expect what this can be, but he probably still needs to play into it. Alright. We still have a lot of mana, so he can double spell, double counter spell, uh, which wouldn't be the bad play, to be absolutely honest. And let's see if he drew an instant. And this is why we didn't care about the token, but man, this draw was kinda insane. That was really insane draw. No more lies, so we want 4 mana at least. I guess we go with Danik then? You know, not the most glorious play, but it adds to the pressure just a little bit. Why not, right? And thanks to Exiling Memory Derush, like, we have a lot of ways uh, to try to outvalue him in the long game. Alright. Alright, that's not a big token, and he knew he needed to use this card. And now we can start maybe going with the Emperor. I think that could be a pretty viable strategy. Let's see the card at the top. Yeah, I think we might go with Ezrim and actually try to beat him down. Uh, this is probably not what we need this game. So this is five. 
Keep watch for intruders. I could also just go memory dirge at dance step. Is it better? Is this better? Alright, I need to think it through because we should be able to win this game. But I need to not mess it up and so far I'm a little bit messing it up. Because he still can draw Shigeki. If he draws Shigeki, he can just go absolutely crazy in one turn. And we need to have him on the ropes then. So I could go for Might. Man, this is such a slow game plan. Did I play land this turn? I did. That's bad. I shouldn't. I think we're fishing for more Mirexes. 4-3, so I can pay 1. Yeah, I think this is the play. And this is just a 2-2, so it doesn't really threaten anything. He didn't activate it, that's interesting. I expected that he were. Alright, only two cards. No way. He, no way he drew Shigeki. Are you serious right now? No way. That was the only card I, I, can, I didn't play around. Alright, good. Virtue is fine. Virtue is fine. Okay, man, I got so scared. Like, when he draws Shigeki... Our whole game changes. I, I don't want him to draw Shigeki, alright? I really don't. Okay. Is that a land? That's a double land. Alright, alright. Do you want to do something with it? He can pay 7 and he has, what, 5 mana? So we can still counter it, theoretically. If we want. And it is possible we want it. And you can see how much difference... Exiling all the memory dirge makes. Like now, right now, he cannot use this mana, really. All right, let's give him the trigger. You know, hitting the first stone brain would be better, but <laughs> it's fine. The first stone brain then would be on Shigeki, and we wouldn't have this problem. But you know, I misplayed a little bit. All right. Okay, we know everything. This is full information. And that's really good. And when when I can start to use them finally, we should hit the Smirex and just overwhelm him easily. I think we might have still dissipate. Those were the cards. See? Exactly what we wanted. A memory dirge for seven usually gives you what you want. Uh, do I want... Hmm... I think I want this. He has double Nissa and only this, so he has infinite mana and nothing more. And nothing more. If I go Ezrim, that's a lot of damage. He doesn't have sweepers. That's also a lot of new pressure. Right? It's not bad. And we can dissipate and still pay a lot of mana. I really think it's the moment. Like, this is the card that really, you know, powerhouses into our direction. It's also pretty hard to kill. I want to counter. Honestly, it could be worth countering. We basically have six mana attacks on everything we play, potentially. So that's why we play a little bit slow here. Is that the first combat phase? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are definitely not attacking into it. So that was a little bit of a setup turn. We will be weaker during this turn. Our defense isn't very strong. And he drew a Sunfall from the top. Oh my god, this guy! This guy is got at magic by drawing cards that he needs from the top. All right, if I counter it, they will force me to... They will double counter spell, right? And I honestly think it's fine. I will get rid of those counter spells finally. Uh, so, sure. This will give me a little bit more leniency and I still have the clues, I still have a lot of value. But that's unfortunate, man. We couldn't even get this board for a single turn and he insta- One of the reasons I played this is that he used already so many sweepers and he didn't have one in the hand, so the chance of him drawing it was extremely low. But low is never zero. Alright, it's- it will die, but just making sure. It also kills his Nessa, right? So it's not the, all the worst. Uh, he will kill our Emperor, so man, 
what a what a good magic skill. All right, I'm salty about that draw. That shouldn't happen, but it's fine. It's fine. We kinda exhausted everything he had, and we still have our Mirex. So, I honestly don't care about those screws. I know I said that I do, but I don't. This is just too good. And with my murders, we should be always ahead in cards. Alright, no board. He has only Nessa, this, and a magical top deck from the top, which can be devastating. Uh, I don't think we need the fur right now. We need the tempo, we need to kill him. So that's probably Emperor into Mirex. And we still can tax him for 6, but that's not super amazing. Like, it won't work until, you know, there's some something big. And I probably still need a removal. Alright, double mana does... Alright! He gets the elf, I kind of forgot about this one. So I think we play it now and see if we get the, uh, you know... Yeah, I forgot that they get the value as well. Alright, not really what we were, wait uh, what we were looking for. We will take this, I guess. Alright, you got it. Man, the Sampho. Oh, I'm so salty about that one. Here's the Elf. So they will live in like a ton right now. And what a game! <laughs> I, I still enjoy it, but man, it's unfortunate on so many levels for us. Alright, he didn't play the, the guy, which is interesting. So he has infinite mana. We need to kill him very quickly. Let's go for Mirex. Uh, we also have a lot of removal in the deck. And uh, that's not the perfect removal. I honestly think we just go to Fairy here. Uh, it's just way better. Because it taps. And tapping stuff is very, very cool. Uh, not artifact, creature. And I mean, let's get a land here. Extra poison. And we say go. Alright. One draw. Man, he is dead in like one or two turns. Show me. Show me what you can draw. And we made sure he cannot draw well because Memory Dush is out there. Show me the card. Alright. Uh, I don't think countering makes sense. We do more if we play Memory Dush at dance step and hit some kind of removal. Alright. Shigeki is still in the game potentially. Okay, uh, I still want the Mirex, right? That's the main thing. If I hit a 1 removal, he's dead. And let's go for the Emperor. That is interesting. I could plus twice. Is plusing twice good? Also, I can use minus 2 to kill something, which is super cool. I think we go with the fairy package, you know? I probably should target this one in case he plays Emperor, but we know that he doesn't, so I guess it doesn't matter. Just, you know, overthinking stuff. This is pretty decent, it's a removal. Not the perfect one, but good enough. Alright. Do I want to get rid of Nessa or Analyst? If I tap it, if I tap it, they will just uh, sacrifice it, right, in response. So, I think... I think we could also go Memory Derush and regain some mana. But I probably want to keep pressuring with Mirex. A Ganjo, Mirex and Double Counter Spell. I think this is our turn. Alright, so let's go for Nessa first. I guess I will plus the, the Might. This way I get more stuff. And let's... Do whatever. What's this? An no way this is Shigeki. Guys, no way this is Shigeki. No. No, I'm sure it won't happen. Alright, we don't need to. I forgot about the Ganjo. No way. It's not possible it's Shigeki. If he has Shigeki, 
he will win the game because he needs it in this or next turn or he loses and let's see if he goes for the damage i guess he should right no reason not to all right Yeah, it doesn't really matter. We can do it at whatever ordering. Uh, we should tap Field of Ruin, but it's fine. Of course, they will go for the play. Get all of the lands. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Holy moly. Uh, they also have Invasion of Archavios, right? They have one Shigeki, one Invasion. I think we can fight against Archavios, but it won't be easy. Man, I feel like I misplayed few things, but in the end, the top decks were were the things that will that decided so far and will decide because he is dead on the next turn. He needs a card that absolutely wins him the game right now, and he has a lot of mana. I, man, I really think he drew Shigeki. Yeah, I can play Danik, but then he will just, you know, do it in response. I mean, that's the best. Maybe we, he, maybe he will miss. Okay. Okay. Cards in the graveyards cannot be targeted. You know what? Maybe. Okay. If that's not Shigeki, we are fine. Okay. That's not an issue. Guys, alright, I think with Danik in the board, we should be fine, because it will be so hard for him to target. I think there were probably more... In Man, we are doing it. We are actually doing it. So he, he of course, <laughs> drew another Demolition Field, uh, but it's fine. Uh, so we are using this... Huh, can we, can we answer it in any way? This will be weird, but I think it works. I target your demolition field now. And do you want to answer? That prevents the mana and the elf, right? Yep. And now we go with this. Alright, that was weird, but it kinda works. And I think we won, because he cannot target anything in the graveyard. Uh, let's give him... Man, that was really good game. But to be honest, I think probably my opponent played a little bit better than I did. Uh, like, <laughs> yeah, I I would definitely play this game differently next time. But I think, man, he was top six hundred, so I think we uh, we were doing pretty nicely for our first game. Uh, the first Stone Brain was kinda not great. If I uh, got rid of Shigeki, that would give me so much more briefing room here. All right, I'm happy he didn't draw it, man. All right, guys, we are going first. We are going first. I kinda like this hand, it's, it's pretty slow, but with Archive, we, man, Archive is an amazing card. Just gives you so much smoothiness to your gameplay. You know what, I'll take Danik, I have no idea if that's a good matchup for him, uh, but I think it should be okay. It's not a card you generally can ignore forever. Like even in, uh, for a control deck, alright, never mind. <laughs> Scrap that thought. And I'm pretty happy. My stuff has three toughness, you know? And then we untap with March, so we can start blocking, and if they pump to kill it, uh, we just kill the creature and we get 2 for 1. If he doesn't, he loses the creature and cannot attack. So then it really puts them into a situation where they don't want to be in. Stop. Alright then. Alright then, you did your fun little stuff, alright? But to be fair, even when you lose Danik, look how much it slowed him down. This is not the deck that likes, you know, removing creatures on turn 2. This is the deck that wants to have a Picnic Ruiner. I think I always said Picnic Runner, but it's Picnic Ruiner, right? Uh, so, yeah, they want to be pumping stuff to Oblivion by now, and not just, you know, having fun and magic. Are you crazy? Yeah, let's go for it. I think it's a good play. See? And now they are kinda behind. We have extra mana. Uh, we play Island for sure. So, is this Teferi? Teferi is super interesting. The problem is that they might have a 2-drop with Monstrous Rage. That's exactly 5. And that means we are in some trouble. Do I want to be in some trouble? Not really. Not really. Not really. 
not really. They always have the combo, right? They always, especially when they play green, and like the whole deck focuses on playing creatures and pumping that. So it could be even Giant's Grove or something. They have less hasters, but they still have a lot. So yeah, I think this is just a better play. With Memorders, we'll smooth out our situation way more, and we can even try to play Azrim soon. And I'm at 20, so it's not like I need to desperately buffer the damage. Alright, sure. That's a cute 1-1 one -one that will probably be 50-50 in one turn. Uh, because that's 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 fair. That's fine. Right, we have second white mana with Mirex. So, you know, we can get there. Emperor. Into Emperor? I don't think negate is the option. I'm thinking about the land, but I think this is just better. This really stops the whole thing there they have going on there. They will pump something at the end step, don't you worry. He can play something right now. Let's see how much it pumps. Alright. And now I can untap one of my cool lands, which is actually a huge difference. I could also tap this, but it doesn't accomplish anything, and then I cannot use no more lies. So it is possible I will lose the fairy, but you know, throwing one wrench into their game plan is much different than not doing it. Here we go. Uh, and now they will pro probably play one mana spell and kill the fairy. But that opens a lot of possibilities. And I already got the decent right. Here we go. See? Not an issue. Oh my god, only for power? Two mana for three in standard? Are you serious? With trample? Man, that's so weak. That's that's just pathetic. Alright, so he really likes his cool little creature. So let's make sure it dies. Alright, I need double white. I will do it now, while it's up. I guess he would attack anyway, so to be absolutely fair, that was probably a misplay. But you know, not the first one, not the last one. We need to get used to those. <laughs> it's just mythic, man. Alright, so, uh, let's see the heister. Um, to be honest, I'm, I'm playing like this because I'm at 26 and I probably win the game anyway. Uh, let's see if that's a haste. Alright, I mean, that's good for him, but not good enough. The fairy is doing work. Man, I'm at 25 just thanks to the fairy and Emperor. I think we go like this, right? Do we have enough mana to get Ezrim? Yep. Uh, let's go. This is Colorless, right? Man, Ezrim will win this game so hard right now. And let's make sure... Oh, this is just one chorus. Right, right, right. Alright. I hope... Man, I got so excited. <laughs> Alright, never mind. Uh, so, uh, let's get rid of your creature and let's uh, get our cool land again. Cool. Listen, I like my situation and I'm not sure if you do. Ezrim, Agency Chief, an Archon Detective on the, on the job. <laughs> Alright. Man, they will pump a lot. Bro, you need to start reading the cards. I tell you, really. At some point, it's inevitable. You really need to start reading them. Huh? Huh? Yeah, you need absolutely need to answer right now. Uh, so we go with Hexproof. Do you want to do it again? Oh, that's, a, that, that's such a nice fizzle. So cute. Hexproof. Weird text that doesn't let you target stuff. I actually will get rid of the fairy. Because we don't need the fairy anymore. He did the job. Man, I'm at 27 with card advantage. Uh, we are absolutely fine here. Suppose that's how it was meant to happen. And we can use the Emperor. Because I'm pretty sure he had a buff, so if we would block. Uh, he would just pump it and not target. Oh, he's trying to target our stuff, but so, man, the game is bugged, right? Sacrifice secret. <laughs> of course! Why wouldn't you have a pick your poison? 
a random pick your poison. He also didn't use it before, so I'm pretty sure if, if he's any kind of decent player, uh, he had a different way to kill Ezrim and he didn't want to use this one. But man, that's, that's kind of hilarious, isn't it? Alright, I guess I will sacrifice a creature with flying. I still get the value. <laughs> I still get the value. Alright, that, that was kind of hilarious. And thanks to having the archive, uh, we don't even feel bad about this. It will fix our mana. Do I care? I have zero idea what he plays. Not for the matchup. Not for my state of knowledge about... Like, I would never expect this card. And the festivities is also kind of weird. And even Lightning Strike isn't a given here. So I think we just go with uh, Memory Drush and win the game. But you can see, even if Ezrim dies, like, this was so much disruption. And it slowed him so down. Uh, yeah, yeah that uh, he's not very happy with the result. Cool. You can hit me. I'm down to 22. I'm basically dead, bro. Listen, I'm dead, but I'm not as dead as you think, all right? <laughs> Two for one? It, man, it, it's like poker. If you throw extra, you know, stake, uh, sure, I'll take it. At this point, I will play against you and I will take your stuff. Is that the Hexproof? No. Uh, he still gets the Audacity card. Man, Audacity is such an insane card. One mana, good buff with Trample that never is a dead card in a way. Alright, uh, that was kind of <laughs> Sacrifice a creature of like, of course. Well, that was something, wasn't it? Man, I had so much fun playing this deck and especially like I was thinking the first game over 30 minutes of gameplay. And you know what? I've been playing Magic for every single second of this 30 minutes. Then we also played against Gruul. All right, <laughs> to be fair, uh, I really like this kind of matchup because it really favors the better player. To be absolutely fair, I, I kind of think I didn't really play it very well, especially missing the first stone brain. That was a huge deal. I should probably realize that something is off with that version, with the lands, with the ratios. I kind of expected that they just added, you know, one color extra and they kept the rest of the deck. But yeah, I should probably assume that top 600 mythic probably uh, has a streak built in mind. So, you know, some misplays on my part. And that's the cool part with stone brain. Every game will be different because of your decision. You decide what cards you will deal with and what you want, which cards you won't deal with. And I think that's really cool part of the deck. Uh, also, why we usually don't play Stonebrain, but we manage to play it here. Very simply, because we have a lot of defensive options with Danik, with Ezrim. I didn't talk a lot about this deck, but as you can see by the title, not only Big Brain, but also Lifelink. Because with Danik, Ezrim, Emperor, Celestus and Teferi, we have insane amounts of life gain. Which means that we can skip on few lockdowns, we still play Sunfall, so we have balanced answers. Danik can hold them at bay for a longer time, uh, while, you know, Lockdown, Emperor, Sunfall takes the charge. With Teferi you can start for a long time, and Teferi Celestus is always one of my most favorite combos, especially for this kind of control. Man, if you have two memory deluge, it's 22 mana out of two cards that you can use mana. Then you draw more cards, man, two memory deluge means you can burn like 40 mana probably. The more you have, the more you will do every single turn. And Teferi Celestus gives you two mana a turn while giving you potentially three life a turn. That is a juggernaut. This is a lightning strike every turn that you buffer just with, you know, card drawing basically and untapping. That's insane. And aggro decks absolutely hate it. All, Teferi is super cheap, four mana, is really low cost for this kind of effect. And you can see that they actually care about it so hard that they invest cards into killing it because they know that if this stays in the battlefield, they are not burning you. So this deck is way more resilient than you can, uh, than you give it credit for. And that means that you probably have those two slots for stone brain. I wanted word so rage. Uh, or whatever the card name is. Uh, that was the main idea. Second, against control decks, you can name what? Uh, I think you can name uh, a land, right? Just making sure. Yep, you can just name a uh, Murex, for example. 
a card name, I name Mirex, and then you don't need to deal with it. You can name Jace, you can name Outrageous Robbery if you are playing any kind of Demir, the you know, Wincon deck. Uh, and two of them means that you probably can exile all of their Wincons. One usually will miss something. Uh, two of them usually hit everything if you are fighting against high value control deck. And nobody really expects it. So hitting it for two is actually not very hard. Like you can sneak it between the counter spells and you know the big butter because they will keep countering your memory those emperors like Teferi, Celestus, this kind of stuff. And suddenly there's a stone brain in the board and it hits them where it really hurts. And yeah, other than those who we still have Field of Ruin Mirex, so I made sure that we are winning this Mirex Wars, you know. Uh, we generally have quite a good package together with Anchorage, Danik, Ezrim and Emperor. So we can actually go super pressure board if your opponent is in a bad state because he's playing probably an aggro or low value deck. You can just, you know, play everything you have and you probably will overpower. You have seen that even against the first guy with the, you know, with the analyst deck, we had so many times enough pressure to force a sunfall. And he played multiple Sunforce. If he didn't hit one of them, he would be dead in like three turns, out of board only. And especially that it's not even great against control decks, it's just an emergency. Against, you know, the mid-range decks that go run go for the throats, this kind of stuff. This is insane. Danik is two creatures in one. Ezrim is basically like three creatures in one because you have double uh, hexproof, so they need to burn three removal cards on this single card. So that's insane. You can also sacrifice Celestus or, or Stone Brain if you are in a pitch. So yeah, the deck is super fun and it does, uh, you know, it plays very differently than the normal control, which was the idea. I knew that, you know, you've seen Azorius control so many times, so every time I showcase the deck, I try to make something interesting, some new, so it plays differently and this deck plays very differently even though it has a lot of same cards uh, addition of stone brain and life linkers make it that you can just completely ignore normal threats and force your opponent to go white and then absolutely punish them for it uh, while still drawing cards and life gaining. So guys, enough of me rambling. I actually got excited for this deck quite a lot. So I really hope you will enjoy it as much as I did. And yeah, if you are bored with classic, you know, Jace Emperor for lockdowns, this is a fair way to enjoy the matchup in a different way than usually. And it hits the, you know, new popular combo decks very, very well. So if you enjoy the deck, like, subscribe gently remember about the mouse you don't want to destroy it and yeah tell me in the comments how you like the deck if you like the deck i really want to know i honestly want to know uh, i i made this deck and i was pretty happy with it and then i played it and i was even more happy with it so right now in the end i'm excited it seems to be solid it seems to be fun and what more can we hope for that's kinda it for today and really thank you guys for being here and being so supportive all the nice comments like really make making content so much more fun so thank you for that uh that really helps and yeah that's kinda it for today thank you guys and see you tomorrow